Crypto airdrops are the best way to build your portfolio from zero to something because basically you're learning about new concepts and you can get some new tokens as well. So the one of the list that I have uh, for the upcoming airdrops is Starknet. Uh, this is an L2 to Ethereum. Uh, this airdrop is not confirmed. This is the potential airdrop. A lot of people are talking about that on Twitter. So have that in mind. But of course, I will get you through some of the steps you can do to actually play around the Starknet and be possibly eligible for the airdrop. Uh, so let's start. Starknet itself is uh, an L2. Uh, it's a roll-up, which means that uh, it's its main goal is to make uh, Ethereum much faster because you won't be able, you, you you won't need to confirm some transactions on Ethereum. We'll confirm that on Starknet, and then they will get bundled and get back to uh, Ethereum. So this is great for Ethereum itself, Starknet, as well as uh, ZK saying that I was covering in another video, uh, are both preparing for the launch on the mainnet. And there are some steps you can do to start interacting with Starknet. Basically, uh, you can go to starknet.io network to see uh, some of the docs, but this won't help you much if you are not uh, technical. However, there is one thing you can do right away, uh, and that's argent.xyz. Argent.xyz is a... Uh, it's a new kind of um, wallet that you can use with both ZK Sync and Starknet, which is pretty cool. So if you go to, if you click on Argent X, uh, then then you'll be able to get this very first wallet on Starknet, and you can download it either as for Mozilla Firefox or for Google Chrome. So once you install that, you'll be able to interact with Starknet, which is pretty cool. So that is the first step you have to do. You need to install this wallet. And now, once you install the wallet, there's a bunch of things you can do. So for example, uh, oh, even without the, you, uh, you need probably the wallet to do it. So uh, the first thing you can do, you, you can use the bridge to bridge some of the ETH to, uh, to Starknet. So going from Ethereum mainnet to, to, uh, to Starknet, you can choose between mainnet or girly. Uh, remember, there was this testnet, Ethereum girly, I was talking about that also in ZK Sync um, uh, tutorial, how to probably get an airdrop. You can do the same thing here. So you can do the same thing on either girly or mainnet because uh, the, this, this bridge is already available to, to test also on the mainnet. So that's one of the things you, you can do to be eligible for the airdrop possibly. Uh, and the other one is testing some of the apps. And this is really cool because uh, there's this great, uh, great article uh, from the Argent, which is super helpful. Of course, I will put all the links down below to the to the to the Stargate, so to the bridge, and also to a bunch of other cool stuff. So Argent X Y Z uh, slash blog slash getting started with Starknet. They explain a bunch of apps that you can use, and those are apps like, for example, playing with brick, so making like different shapes. Uh, then trading. There's this decentralized. Uh, exchange you can trade some of the coins uh, you can collect nfts already so you can mint something on mint square uh, so that's really cool also very recently just a, i think three weeks ago they created this uh, website they meaning argent they created the website called dapland stargate uh, so if you go to dapland.com they try to list every app on the Starknet, uh, and you can you can either filter through bridges, on ramps, DeFi games, NFTs, social infrastructure, DAOs, uh, and try playing around. So you can you'll be able to already do some of the things. Uh, some of those are audited, so we'll be able to use that. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Uh, or you can simply go to. Uh, some of the apps. You can, you, for example, you see this Stargate here. So I will put the link to that plant as well. Uh, what else? Yeah, and there's this blog announcement of Argent X Starknet launch, which is this very first, uh, very first wallet for Starknet. Uh, summing up, the best thing you can do for Starknet right now is basically getting the Argent wallet, trying to uh, bridge some of the ETH either from testnet or from the mainnet to Starknet. And then second thing is using this guide from Argent, maybe mint an NFT on, uh, on um, uh, Starknet, swap some coins and probably you'll be fine. Uh, 
this is of course all potential. We don't know exactly the criteria from for the for this airdrop and whether when it when it's coming, what it will be exactly, and so on. So always be careful if you you know like put any money there. Uh, but it's worth learning definitely. Uh, I always treat those kind of airdrops as a great learning opportunity, and you should too. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel for more news on more updates about the future crypto airdrops as well as many other crypto apps. I share the news basically daily, so subscribe, put the notification bell on and see you in the next episode.